I feel like everybody should let their nuts hang a little bit <laughs> and move. Okay, so we are 14 days of moving 3,000 miles away. If you didn't know, I'm from Sacramento. We moved all the way down to Florida. Yeah. Everything's coming super natural to For us. Sure. I like it. It's, it's a vibe out here. We don't know anybody, which is great, and we don't feel judged or anything. Yeah. We're chilling. We'll see how I how right. I feel in two to three months because I'll, yeah. I'll have a better feel for it. I might miss some people. I might be a little more homesick. But as of right now, <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking standing ten toes on my decision. I've been learning a lot about crypto. I haven't really went to the extent to read any books or anything, but I looked at Solana and Bonk, Ethereum, and XRP. Hopefully they hit big like Bitcoin. <laughs> and I just get rich off that and then shit. Yeah, a lot of it needs to get going. New addition to the family. Lighting is so, cute. We got a couch today. Shout out to my parents. Lay down. Him now, and I'm gonna back it up. And this is how much space we have left. So, lots of room. Undeniable. <laughs> Undeniable. We're sleeping here tonight, aren't we? We are. Dope. You know, we might even make a fort. Might even. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so, this is Kimani. She being lame as fuck. He punched me, guys. He No, I didn't. <laughs> you hit me, and I blocked it with my fist. Yeah. So we've been working on the wholesaling. I got a lot of my notes right here. Can't see. That's confidential info. But, you know, I just got off the phone with the seller. Got yada, yada, yada. We ain't going to speak too much on that. Come over here. I just realized that you were recording me with my ugly ass hair. Anyways, go. Thanks, so we bro. got a little bit of trash. We got to move this because the U-Haul comes today. Yeah. Yay! All our stuff. Dinner, it was good, pretty tasty. We had oatmeal, eggs, this is grapes. Gorgeous. That's what? What did I say? Dinner. Oh yeah, not dinner. It's yeah, not breakfast. dinner. I thought he was talking about last night's dinner. That shit was best, but he didn't like it, so. What we have for dinner last night? Sorry guys, I have a slow memory. What we have? Fish tacos, rice, and I did broccoli. like dinner. Oh, okay, good. Did they see the bathroom turn out? No, so I don't think they did. I love it in here. Oh, I like it. So, here's it with it open. Here's our window open because sometimes shit be going down in here literally. Got my the room, all the mess is really me. Um, we gotta actually deflate this so we can move all our furniture in today. But all our stuff comes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no, the ones I just bought the other day. Oh, did I take him out the bag? Are they not right here? I did take him out the bag. Shit. Fuck. See, you made me feel bad, so now I gotta get ready. But why did I make you feel bad? Um, cause I wasn't ready for the day. You are. Shall I wear these? So, yeah. Love the outfit. Bravo, bravo. Look, I thought I had black shirts. I thought so too. I thought that's what you were talking about. Ah, did I wear this shirt yesterday? I think so. All right, guys. Goodness, Key. We're unloading. Woo. Okay, so this is what we looking like. I hung this up, had to use all my tools, got my tools back so I was able to level it, make sure it was hung up properly. That's one thing I always didn't want in my house was crooked pictures. That was a pet peeve when I used to walk into 
friends and family houses was when the picture would be fucking all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I just did it so good. It's not even gonna, you feel me? Taking my pot away. There she go. Babe, I'm sorry. Why did you grip I, my hand that hard? I'm starting to stop. I'm starting to think that I can't believe my stop. Get the camera out of me. I'm like, <laughs> And I couldn't breathe because I was laughing. And I just didn't <laughs> laugh. Yet. What are we doing tomorrow? I'm probably going to go see some water. The manatees. Is that what they was called? Manatee. How would you describe a manatee? As you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. It's like a fat whale. It's like a big ass booger, like. <laughs> <laughs> like a just like <laughs> a booger with a brain. All right, drip check, drip check. Okay, you feel me? So I'm a real simple guy. I got the white tee on, cargo shorts. I don't wear too much shoes. I'll, I'll wear these shoes until the soles fall off. I mean, I, I wear these nine times out of 10. If I'm not wearing these, I'm wearing some Crocs or something. I really used to be a shoe shoe guy when I was a kid because my dad used to buy me a lot of shoes. Now, I got a couple pair of shoes that are black and he bought me these, so. <laughs> I grew out of it real simple. I don't need too much, not too flashy. I'll wear this seven days a week, I'm telling you. Seven Let's see what you got on. I got on his hoodie, real nice, these shorts, and my shoes and my purse. And where are we going? We're going to see the main of these. Y'all, I don't know where the hell we are. Hamosa Springs Wildlife State Park. Ready? Okay. Hey guys. I'm just chilling. It's chilling. It's pretty peaceful. Catch you later. You ever seen one of these bad joints? Ever. <laughs> I don't know if I have either. I mean, I think they have them in the Sacramento View, so Sacramento Zoo, so I want to say yeah. I don't know. I always remember them at Sacramento Zoo being like maybe not there. Like they're just not, not there. Not there yet. Type shit. But I'm still confused on why these birds can't just fly out. They can, probably. Am I tripping or like, why can't the bird just fly out? I'm so confused. I'm grab you. I'm over here. I don't think he likes to be recorded. But why can't it just fly away? Right? So everything really, really tropical. I'm everything. Literally. 10 out of 10 would recommend. I liked it a lot. It stumped them. Oh, it for sure it did. Stumped. Especially by the birds. Yeah, especially. Which I was not expecting because you would think that water. Yeah. Like uh, animals. Oh, the eat. manatees too. Those stunk. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Can I have an autograph? For what? So, we try to beat the trolley and we've been jogging a little bit it's super embarrassing with us passing the line and then them come passing us in the trolley oh, fuck. is this it oh no we can go walk straight through okay we beat them fuck. <sighs> imagine they caught us running oh fuck. I didn't know. <laughs> nah shit like that's embarrassing just fuck to me i'm sorry imagine them catching me running and then you trip and fall <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? you just cut them in line three minutes ago right when you're getting ready to advance in your life, it's going to be different. Like, it's yeah. going to be something that you haven't seen before. So, For sure. commonly, that's going to be uncomfortable. You have to get used to stepping outside okay. of your comfort zone. And when you're going for a goal, you have to already envision it as being something that you accomplished. You can't look at a goal and be like, oh, but what if this happens? Or what if right. they think this? Like, fuck them. It didn't happen. You're, ar you're already just assuming. And when you're assuming... Why not assume good things are gonna right. come out of it? Like you be assuming, oh, but if I move mm -hmm. and I fucking I get hurt, 
Like, where well, we did don't that know come anybody. from? Like that that's just yeah. bad energy all the way around. When you're sure. when you're when you're reaching for something, you're gonna say, Oh, I move and right. when I move, I'm I'm gonna have my shit together. Like you right. already know this shit happened. Like don't don't assume bad things if you're yeah. gonna assume. For sure. And don't rush either because when you have big visions, it takes time, it takes a lot of decision making, it takes a lot of acceptance. So you have to be willing to receive everything Planning, about research. Yes. You have to be ready to receive everything, negative and positive. But where the difference comes in is how you navigate through those issues or um, obstacles that may arise in your journey. But it's what are all some about obstacles that you've seen so far. I would say some obstacles is, is not knowing the area just because um, it's a big area the, where we moved. So we really kind of also have to do your research with that is as far as like for us, because we are black, we have to figure out like um, what places not to go to and like, you know, just, just kind of be aware of the area that we're inserting ourselves into. But um, the whole journey is about how willing you are to reach your goals. So. Yeah, that's something big. Yes. I didn't step on e uh, touch, on. <laughs> touch on either. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's different. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a black person, so I just can't move to anywhere in Mississippi and be fine. Like, right. it sucks to say, but, like, let's be serious. So. You can't move anywhere, anywhere, really, without yes. experiencing some type of, um, or what is it, adversity, sorry. Yeah, so you, you, you need a... For us, we came from California, which was really sunny, really nice. So we moved to Florida, which is really sunny, really nice. And everybody's from different places. They experience different things. And if I liked the snow, if I was just in love with the snow, maybe I would have moved to Oregon. But yeah. everybody's different. You don't have to do what everybody else is doing. Everybody's going to have their unique strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I didn't even have any family out here, but it just felt right to move out here. Right. So. Bucket. But we also have each other. So one of the things, though, <laughs> yeah, seriously, when you true. move with each other is you have to be very honest. You have to be honest about how you're feeling about it, about what to expect, about what your goals are, so on and so forth. But it Many takes conversations about that. Yeah, a lot of conversations about what, you know, like where you want to see yourself or growth. So I we've been here for two weeks and I've had made some major changes and I think it's all a part of just really figuring out who we are. So back to knowing the original. What the goal is. Yeah, knowing knowing that you see the destination, but you don't look at the destination. You're focusing on the journey. So that's important. Very important. Anyways, <sighs> see you guys on week three. Bye. <laughs>